Hey team, for the next week, I'm gonna be spending my time here in Arizona, specifically at the Grand Canyon, as well as some other really amazing hot spots with the Sony team. I am part of the Sony Alpha team, and I'm here with other amazing photographers and videographers, and we're gonna be exploring this area. Right now, we're staying at the Yavapai Lodge for a couple of nights and exploring the Grand Canyon. I'm so pumped. I am currently walking the rim trail on my way to see the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. I have never seen it before. It's on my bucket list. I feel like it's on everyone's bucket list. So I'm super, super pumped to be here. We are approaching an incredible view. I'm often asked the question, how do you balance between filming and taking photos and actually just really enjoying the moment for yourself when you travel? This is what I do. When I first see something, I put down the camera if I have it out, or I just don't bring it out at all, and I really soak in the experience, that first moment. Sometimes I'll actually have the camera on, and I'll kind of like have it to my side so I'm not focusing, looking in the camera, it's just kind of like a little, a little uh, parrot on my so shoulder just watching the view as I am. but. Most of the time I'll just take in that first moment for myself and then I'm able to share and reflect with my experience with you guys afterwards. So many times people come to locations like this and they don't even really look. Gotta really soak it in to get the full experience. Just be present and uh, that's it. Just sit and, and be present and appreciate. Waking up at 4 a.m. is totally worth it when you get to see the Now, I'm gonna stop this time last and take some photos because the light is just perfect. Oh my God. How's the whole experience? It's awesome. A little, a little nippy this morning, but... Worth getting so, up for, though? Absolutely. How are you doing, Fred? It's a little cold, <laughs> but it's worth it. Did you get some good shots? Oh, yes. So many good shots. <laughs> Look at that lens. Oh, yeah. 100 to 400. Changing it up. The compression out of this is unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, what a perspective. Zooming in, trying to get a sense of scale of this place, but, yeah, nothing does it justice. You'll see behind me, there is a pyramid-like rock formation, and it's called Vishnu. It's named after the Indian god Vishnu, and all these other specific rock formations scattered along behind me are named after Indian gods. What I just learned that's super cool about the Grand Canyon, in specific areas, different rock formations are named after different gods of different religions, so it's celebrating all different types of religions. We are hiking the stunning Kaibab Trail, which means mountain lying down in the Pai language, which is one of the tribal languages from the tribes people that live here. And I mean, wow, the colors are unreal. There's like reds, and oranges, and yellows, and browns, and purples, and magentas, and greens, and oh, It's like a photographer, a photographer, photographer? <laughs> a photographer and videographer's dream. Okay, so here we have some fossils in the side of the Grand Canyon. This is called a brachiopod right here. Looks like a seashell. Uh, you can also see what are called sea sponges. These are basically ancient coral reef that are now 7,000 feet above the surface of the ocean. It's crazy to think that this was below water At one once time. upon a time. Yeah, these rocks were actually underwater. And here's the proof right here. Just to give you guys a perspective, like look how high up we are. And this all used to be underwater. This rock here is about 265 million years old, but the rock down there is 1.7 billion years old. That's like a third 
of the Earth's age. It's been here for so long and knows so much. It's seen so much. Have you found um, any dinosaur fossils? So I've never found a dinosaur fossil here in the Grand Canyon. Yep. But when I worked for the Park Service in what's called the Petrified Forest National Monument, we found what's called a Dilipasaurus there, which is uh, one of the very beginning or very first dinosaurs. And they were very small. They were kind of like a little mini T-Rex. So they had little arms and big legs and big teeth for a little dinosaur. Is this dinosaur in Jurassic Park? It is. It so is. If you've seen Jurassic Park, it's where Newman from Seinfeld is trying to escape the island with all the embryos. And that little dinosaur comes up with the fans and hawks that big thing on him. And, and uh, we found it in a dry wash when uh, I was walking the dry wash, GPSing what are called tamarisk trees. Uh, the partner I was with actually tripped and fell over the tailbone no. of this Dilipasaurus that was sticking up out of the ground. And we got to dig it all out and put it into a plaster cast and help the park paleontologist put it onto the flatbed truck and everything. That's so, so cool. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? We gotta all right, so we here. got a bear slingshot. Check the wind here. For the bears. <laughs> And, and we got a volunteer. And you're slingshotting it into Nate's mouth? Cool. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, that right was on the chin. <laughs> wow, those come in hot. <laughs> <laughs> let me see it, let me see it. Yes. Uh, my name is Trey Williams. I'm a Native American Navajo here in Page, Arizona. We're heading out to Alstrom's Point right now. Uh, we're on a dirt road. We got about maybe nine miles to go. And it's getting bumpy a little bit. Yes, it is getting bumpy. We're in this crazy adventure mobile. That's the only way you can get through this desert. It is so bumpy. Probably not the best thing for me to be in right now with the baby in my belly and I have to pee too. As you can see, I'm not in the vehicle because it's so freaking bumpy and I really don't want to be in there pregnant. So I'm walking. Also the benefit of the others ahead means I can pee and no one's gonna see. So, excuse me, while I do that. So after that hour and a half of extreme bumpiness, this is where we arrived. Not bad, not bad. It's actually incredibly stunning. What do you think? It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen, honestly. I feel so small. I'm like 6'3", and just standing here, I feel so humbled. It's absolutely amazing. What's the name of this canyon? Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Watch out for the rattlesnake. Like for real? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, they fall in. Are you lying? No. Okay. <laughs> you were lying. <laughs> Isn't this just like a photographer's dream? All the textures and yeah, it's so amazing. Like it's it's kind of overwhelming. Like I don't even know where to start in a way because there's so many endless compositions. Oh. It's just incredible. Everything about it's just beautiful. The shapes, the textures, the colors. It's so curvy. I love it. Antelope Canyon now, and uh, I think it's gonna be a little busier here, and I can see why. You guys wow. enjoying this? No. You hate, hate it. it? Hate it. It's so <laughs> ugly. Ugh. Why would they take us here? Yeah, 
this wicked vehicle, open air vehicle, on a very windy day. Where, 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 where are we heading to? Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend, yeah. I already forgot. Come on, team. Yeah. Energy, energy. Horseshoe Bend. Bend and it is probably my favorite spot we've been to. Let's go down. Let's get an even closer look, but not too close. I don't want to die. Too windy today. You want to go close to the edge, but you don't want to go close to the edge because it is so windy right now. <laughs> 